Raid and Roach Motel. Did you hear me? All right, so we up right now preparing for Katrina East Coast version. You know, they had they had the, 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 the South was underground, you know, and that mainstream with Katrina and shit. No, it was before Katrina, but still, you know, now we're getting hurricane hitting me. Connecticut, when does this happen? Apparently, the only other time was like 30 years ago. Anyways, this video, I had this all done, real nice and shit. My phone wants to have 21 gigabytes of whatever the fuck other means. Probably my old phone profile on the shit. I don't fucking know. I can't delete the shit. So, because I don't want to have to, you know, get my number out again to mad people, I'm just like, fuck it. Make do with what you got, motherfuckers. Like, give you lemonade and make lemonade out the shits, right? This video very important, right? I'm wearing down, you know, a little while ago, I checked with my big homie, you know. He older than me, like 35-ish. You know what I'm saying? He go, uh, I gave him a cigarette. And I go, yo, I'm been trying to quit these shits, you know, education purposes. Education purposes, come teach you something about that, right? I sort of came up off this, this is how my, my channel sort of got started, right? So I figured it was only right that, uh, you know, I sort of talk about both sides, like Pimp C said, you know, it's sort of a topic in my music, topic in my life. You're going, you're going to talk about the bad, or the, you want to talk about the good that come with the bad, you got to talk about the bad that come with the bad, too. So, seeing, keep in mind, like, what, what peeped me to, like, there might, you know, it seemed like it was like they're trying to get people to smoke cigarettes at one point, recently. And I mean that because, you know, a lot of Quando Rondo is, I don't even fucking like Quando Rondo. I don't even like his music, right? I understand what happened. I personally think he could, but definitely I think people are coming down on Lil Tim a little hard with that. But anyways, my point was, he's smoking Newports or Camels, smoking cigarettes in a lot of his videos, right? And if you look at the two most hated, I don't mean the two most, like, um, controversial or two most, like, questionable. I mean the two most hated figures in this rap right now, in this rap game. Is Lil Tim and Quando, I sort of put them as one single unit because that, that shit couldn't have happened without Quando and that shit couldn't have happened without Lil Tim. It could have happened without Lil Tim, but it would, be, it would all be mad at somebody else. You see what I'm saying? It couldn't have happened without Quando. The whole reason that Lil Dude did what he was supposed to do is Quando. It was dangerous. Lil Dude should have, motherfucker should have jumped or done something. Not that, but it is what it is. It's over now. You know, R.I.P. King Vaughn, I feel like that man was more than a blessing. It, it breathed so much new shit into this game. I think he was trying to take it back to where it's supposed to be. Because there's a lot of storytelling elements and shit. We don't have no good storytelling rappers out there. Maybe me. <laughs> I ain't no fucking 100,000 sub motherfucker though. So, anyway, I'll go run down my boy. I said, yeah, I've been trying to quit these shits, man. He's like, yeah, me too. He's like, for the first time in my life, never, you know, I never had a problem with smoking cigarettes. He's from the South. You know, uh, he's from Virginia and shit. Um, he goes, uh, you know, so he's like, you know, he, he tell me, like, it's weird. There's something different about it. You know, there's a smell over the cigarette smoke. I said, you know what Raid is, right? He said, yeah, like, ain't killing the Wasp I said, the Wasp I said, they make meth with that shit. And um, also on top of that, it provides on its own a meth like high, right? So if you're putting that in the cigarettes, you know, you heard Grady Judd putting it on paper, paper, and smoking it, you're not going to get the same high as meth. But I notice when I smoke a cigarette, a little bit more keyed up, my heart rate elevates. Sometimes I'll feel chest pain while smoking, and it will stop once I stop. Um, and before that, my skin will feel like it's burning. And that's nerve damage. You see what I'm saying? And it's the nerve agent that gives you that mess like high. Or something that's with the nerve agent. So, I thought about it. I said, you know, I got to do something, something bigger on this. You know what I'm saying? I'll make another video talking about the weed later on. Because that's something I'm going to have to do a little bit 
more tactfully and more in depth and, sh and shit. Cause more important to me about the weed than it is with the cigarettes. I'm, I'm planning on quitting. I'm not even planning. I'm in the process of quitting these shits. A lot of people can't go cold turkey who smoke cigarettes, and that's why I make this video. Um, you know, it's like it's like um. It's like we got, hold on, I've seen something going on sometimes, check it. Uh -huh. It's like this, right? It's like, you gotta, if you're gonna wean off, now is the time. That's where I'm at. You know what I'm saying? I'm getting, le smoking less and less, all type of shit. Bill Morris just said the thing about the stock smoking cigarettes. That's a loophole in the lawsuit. I'm, just, I'm not gonna explain it fully in depth here. But let me just say, you won't lose all your money that way. You lose some of it probably, but not all of it. Um, so they're spraying this shit on basically anything. You know, people who know about MDMA, rolling, people who know about Molly, people who know about meth, all that shit. They go hand in hand, cigarettes and that. Even more so sort of than dope and that go hand in hand. You see what I'm saying? Like, so it's like, if you got, if you put something that give you a meth like high in a cigarette, right? You're not going to get high like you would on meth. You're going to get high subtly, not noticing it. You know what I'm saying? Like your heart rate elevated, you're going to be a little bit more alert and aware. You know, that's how I was people see what the fuck was going on. You know what I'm saying? So just think about that. Just think about that. I'm going to provide some receipts in there. They're going to be a, another, you know, because if you're rolling, you know what I'm saying, you smoke mad cigarettes. See what I'm saying? So what they put, it's increasing the addiction because now the nicotine focus aspect is complemented by the less focus aspect. You see what I'm saying? Be safe out there, man. It's different times right now. And if you smoke these shits, do what I'm doing, get your ass starting to quit, man, for real. 16-year-old Kanan Johnson was hoping for a quiet Christmas break. I'm crazy. <laughs> he did not get his wish. We were making cookies and he just came in the side door. Two weeks ago, officials say Danny Hollis walked into his family's farmhouse in Lawrenceburg. He came over here and got a drink of water. And then he was like mumbling around and stuff. Hollis then removed a knife from the butcher block and cut his throat. And my mom was like, you're bleeding on all of our stuff. Like, can you not? From there, an all-out ransacking began. First, he threw a dresser down the stairs. From the stairs and threw it and hit the wall and busted it. Then, jumped out a second-story window, landing on a gazebo, breaking his neck. Danny Hollis through the though. front door and started chasing after the family down the street. By the time deputies got here, Danny was up in this tree completely naked. And as deputies were trying to tase him, he was throwing fecal matter at them. themselves, they're trying to mix and match to try to find the next high. There's a new way to get high, but it will cost you. They don't know the long-term effects, but if you actually look at the science of it, it's something made to kill something. So long use of it, there's got to be some long-term. It could be unconscious, disoriented, um, to tremors, to seizures, to... Um, basically everything, nausea, vomiting. These are the consequences of a new drug trend called wasping. That's when wasp killers mixed with other drugs like marijuana and meth. Valley News Team's Veronica Marshall looks into why the dangerous trend is spreading and what it can do 